spark in electrical connections, lightning during thunderstorms. Both are due to electrical discharge. And when a glass road rubbed with a piece of silk cloth, it will attract objects like dried leaves and papers. This is because of the electrical charge acquired by it. So, this phenomena was discovered around 600 BC by a scientist, Thales of Miletus. In this chapter, we are dealing with electrostatics, which deals with the study of charges at rest, forces between them, and fields and potentials due to these charges. Now, let's start with electric charge. Electric charge is a property possessed by particles that makes it possible for them to exert and to respond to electrical force. There are two types of charges, positive and negative. These are named by the scientist Benjamin Franklin. If a body possesses charges on it, it is said to be a charged body. Or we can call it an electrified body. And if a body doesn't possess any charge on it, then it is said to be a neutral body. And the process by which we can charge a body is called electrification. In the next video, we will discuss the gold leaf electroscope.